Hey, Thunzo Nature here, and welcome back to our new player guide series. As today, we are going to discuss coal. So I was asked recently by someone uh, who is a newer player in the game, uh, in the WoWs community, also in the FLT Discord, uh, about uh, earning coal. Um, because it's a little daunting, I think, for some of those who may be new players and wondering when you see other people like earning so coal so easily and have such large amounts, like how do you get to that point? Uh, so I just want to talk about uh, several ways of earning coal. I think I've listed about seven different ways. Uh, we'll start off with the main ways of earning coal uh, first and foremost in the game. But here in the background, I have Moskva. Moskva is a ship which I purchased for coal. Uh, I think it's like 244,000, but maybe with coupon applied, it, it drops it down, something like that. Um, and you can get really cool things with coal. You can get this uh, ship for <laughs> a large amount of coal. You can pick up Nikolai Kuznetsov for 175,000 coal. Um, so there's a lot of cool things you can get with coal, but of course it costs a lot of coal. Uh, so how do you farm coal uh, best here in World of Warships? And I'm going to just go over these seven things, but no, if you're a new player, it's going to take you some time. That's just the reality as a newer player. Um, until you get into the grind and rhythm of things, uh, only then will you be able to have access to earn more coal readily. So the first thing I'm going to discuss uh, is the inside the combat missions, specifically uh, the daily trial. Um, they keep changing the name of what this has been called. Um, but the daily trial is kind of your first go-to place. As long as you have a tier 5 ship or higher, uh, you can be earning coal here. So there's the six uh, daily um, trial missions uh, within this uh, sequential order, one through six. And you see as you go through here, by the time we get to the third one, you get 200 coal. And upon the completion of all six, you earn another 200 coal. So right there, there's 400 coal. And I'll just kind of like type that up here, uh, 400. Apparently, I can't hit the clear mark on my calculator. So there's 400 coal we can earn there. Um, and that is kind of your, as a newer player, that's really kind of <laughs> going to be the beginnings of your main way of earning, collecting coal. So that's number one. Number two is through combat missions as a whole. So um, I'm not only referencing the daily trial, but there can be other combat missions in which you can earn coal. Uh, it might be earning some coal containers, as an example. So... I'm going to sort through here and see what rewards they're giving here. It's economics. I think they, yeah. So here, here's a more coal container. So uh, we open this container up. We're going to get more coal from it. Uh, what, what else do we have here? I don't know if they offer any coal in the dockyard combat mission. Doesn't look like it. Let's see. Seven C's. That's just certain ships you play. Operations, it's clan battles, um, brawls. So um, actually that's gonna be, um, yeah, we'll put that, that's part of combat missions. So when you have these uh, different newer game battle modes introduced, uh, such as brawl, uh, brawls as an example, you can earn 8,000 coal. Um, meaning that Brawls right now, it's a tier eight, so a tier eight cruiser. So um, <laughs> you have to play a lot of Brawl games because you have to win. Uh, you can't just play them, you have to win them. So you can see there's some good credits, uh, earnings uh, for credits as you're playing through here. But I have to win a whole bunch of battles, like what, 33 battles uh, in order to get 8,000 coal. So that might mean you have to play 66 brawls in order to uh, get 8,000 coal, okay? So combat missions, those are the second way. Uh, the third way uh, that is also very typical uh, at tier five and higher, which is probably gonna be your main way, honestly. Uh, even though I said daily trial was, it's actually, uh, I would argue more or less this way. Uh, and that is, um, you can collect containers by earning XP during the day, and you can get up to three containers a day. So 
uh, basically you have to reach uh, 2,000, 12,500, and 37,000. So then upon reaching each of these, you'll uh, select collect container, and then you will select uh, more coal, uh, more resources. I think it's just more coal. Um, probably have one in here. Yeah, so you choose the more coal container. And then once you've opened that, um, you do that in each of these, your own coal that way. So you can get 400, 800, or even 1200 coal per container. So if you get really lucky, you can, I mean, you can easily earn over a thousand coal a day uh, just by these uh, daily uh, earning XP containers, I guess is what I would call it. But if you're a newer player, it might be very unreasonable for you to actually get 37,000 experience in one day. So maybe you're just getting the 2,000 or the 12,500 knocked out. You can still get over 1,000 coal if the things go in your favor, you know, at least 800, if not over 1,200 coal, if you're only able to get up to here as a newer player. Uh, so this would be the third way. Uh, the fourth way would just be through um, different containers in general, okay? So um, what I mean by that is I guess I can hop back in here um, is containers when I go to view all containers um, different containers can offer you coal um, it's like for example what's particularly on my mind is super containers uh, will give you coal um, you can get up to 15,000 coal out of a super container if you get lucky uh, if we go into the armory and look at containers I think I saw a container in here earlier that offered coal if I'm not mistaken, I'm really trying to remember because I looked in here in advance just trying to remember uh, where I had seen that. Mm, where, oh, yeah. Uh, so, for example, here, super container. Uh, this is for naval community. I don't really recommend spending 6,000 community tokens for this. Uh, but these guys down here, uh, these veteran recruiting station container, then there's another one. You can see here we can earn up to 10,000 coal. Granted, you only have a 5% chance. Come to the seasoned uh, coal, 5,000 junior recruiting station, 1,500. So there are different containers available to you at times in which you can earn coal. Um, so you can keep your eye open for that, take advantage of it, like here, community trophy, trophies. Uh, I can see and get more coal containers is one of the options. Um, so there might be times when you can purchase different containers that offer you coal. Um, I don't even know if these offer, doesn't look like it. Granted, these are um, to or containers you have to buy for doubloons. Okay, so that's your fourth way. Uh, the other way is through something like a clan bonus. So for example, let's say I completed um, my 2000 experience uh, combat mission for the day, right? And I choose a more coal container. Um, let's just go ahead. I'll do this for you as an example. I'll go ahead and open up one of these. I was wanting to wait to open this. So more coal, addition, 40 coal. I got 400 coal. And then I got 40. I have a clan bonus that it's 10%. So whatever, if I earn 800 coal, I'm gonna get 80 coal. If I earn 1200 coal, I'm gonna get 120 coal. So that's part of the clan uh, bonus. So that's a perk uh, of being a part of a clan. Uh, so I'll just jump in here and can show you. So this is our clan. Uh, it is over here. So your coal port. So you can max out your coal XP earnings. So 10% uh, bonus to coal you receive. So we have this uh, maxed out. We have expansions three out of three. And so I'm getting more coal that way. And anytime I earn coal, uh, I'm always gonna get a little bit of a bonus on top of that. So that is a fantastic way. Uh, the sixth way I would say is through dockyards. Um, as you go up the shipbuilding phases, they will offer you coal. So for example, if I go back to the beginning, very first one here, you see 2,000 coal. Um, so let me just go ahead and put that down, 2,000. And then we go further up. There's gonna be another one for coal here. So 3,000. We go up more, I just got one not too long ago. Here, plus 5,000 coal. 
Okay, so it's already 10,000 coal there alone. I go up even more here, another 10,000. So then that's 20,000 coal I just earned through the dockyard. But when you add my 10% bonus in, I'm getting 22,000 coal. So I'm pretty sure you get the clan bonus even through um, however you pick up coal, even through a dockyard. If I'm mistaken there and someone knows, please correct me, but I'm pretty positive that you can, you still get the bonus of picking, whenever you earn coal, uh, you pick up that 10% bonus. So 22,000 coal just through doing the dockyard alone. And Wargaming does these dockyards periodically, uh, what, probably two to three a year. So that's another nice way to earn coal. The seventh way I think about is armory events and gaming events. So if I go into the armory, uh, the, actually they just had this uh, particular one up today, uh, German squadron container. So I'm guessing this is probably in a news article um, they had, because I just hopped in. Uh, so I don't think these containers, yeah, these containers, thousand coal, uh, I can pick up there. Um, and then I go down even further. If you go through these, uh, each of these <laughs> link uh, chains, these bundles, you can see eventually I'm going to get up to 239, oh, 10,000 coal uh, for the expense of 239 doubloons. Uh, so how far do we have to go up? But granted, if you're a new player, I don't really recommend you spending doubloons just to pick these up. Because um, ultimately to get up to here, I'm doing some math real quick. Um, da, da, da. This is 119, the next one was 159, next one was 199, and then plus the 239. So I have to spend 980 doubloons just to get up to 10,000 coal. Um, now, on Monday's video, I actually got uh, 2,000 doubloons from opening super containers from the seven year anniversary event. Uh, so I could actually get 10,000 coal just from the uh, super containers I got via the doubloons. So I'll, I might actually look at going up this possibly, but if I, I don't, I really doubt <laughs> I'm not gonna go all the way up because then it gets super expensive, but I love my coal. So that might be something if you feel comfortable enough with the amount of doubloons you have, um, like I would just be under nine, under 10,000 doubloons after getting up to this point, uh, then that's another way to earn, uh, to pick up coal. So they have these different, uh, gaming events. I don't even know what these unsinkable SAM containers. Yeah. So they have 7,500 coal. You have a 10% chance. So, um, looks like that's the hardest item to pick up from these containers and then uh, 32% chance of picking up unseekable salmon Colsick. So I wonder what happens if you already have Colsick here. That's something I can look at later. Um, <laughs> they give you elite commander XP. Commander group. Oh, no, that's not even the ship. Yeah, I can just go back to this later. Uh, so there's different in-game events uh, that you can earn. Uh, but these aren't necessarily earning. It's actually spending money, spending uh, doubloons in order to pick up uh, these things. I don't know if they even had any coal in the seventh this. Uh, something I did see, though, was... Come down here. Uh, these bundles. So they have... Uh, when they have these different events, uh, sometimes there's like a, a coal bundle uh, you can get for free. But uh, it's not listed here, so... So yeah, so those are the, um, the seven ways I would say uh, you can regularly earn coal uh, here in World of Warships. If you're a newer player, it's just going to take you some time uh, to establish yourself, uh, collect more ships, get more of those ships that are two or five and higher, uh, where you begin to qualify for like the daily trial, the combat missions, uh, the daily containers. And then just keeping your eye out on containers that do have chances to drop coal, the clan bonus that you have uh, if you are in a clan. If you're not in a clan, um, maybe do some research, do some digging around. Uh, you can uh, look to see if there's a possible clan you can join or put a feeler out in a Discord group, something like that. 
um, dockyard events, and then different armory events and game events. Uh, those two kind of combine because whenever they have a game event, usually there's something in the armory, so those are kind of tied together there. So those are seven ways I would say um, you can readily earn coal. If you know of a way I didn't share of earning coal that I just spaced on, uh, throw it down in the comments below so other people can uh, read those comments and have another way just for themselves to earn uh, coal readily. So if you liked today's video, give it a thumbs up. If you did not, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe if you do want to see more. If you haven't subscribed, thanks so much. I really appreciate it, and we'll catch you next time. Take care. Mm -hmm.